Hey everyone, I'm Joe Deganzik and you're on Smarter Home Life. We're continuing our little mini series this week with all the new HomeKit stuff that has rolled out with Apple's various software releases and this time we're going to focus on the Apple TV. Now of course, about this time last year, Apple introduced the fourth generation Apple TV with various new features, the most notable being Siri and the uh, remote new remote control with the microphone on it so you could control every aspect of your TV watching experience with your voice if you wanted to but controlling your home kit stuff was not possible last year you could only uh, allow the Apple TV to act as a gateway from inside your home to outside your home so you could get access to your home kit stuff with your iPhone when you were not at home this year, of course, they have added that ability um, or the ability to control your HomeKit stuff via Siri, via your voice on the Apple TV. And it is by, own, uh, by Apple's own little tagline, it just works. It's pretty darn easy to set up and get up and running. But the following steps will not apply to you if you don't even have HomeKit devices up and running on your iOS devices already. But otherwise, if you do, you first need to get your uh, Apple TV upgraded to the latest software, which is under settings and then down under system and then under software update. So go through that process, make sure you're up to date and then come back here, go down to accounts and check to make sure that the Apple ID that you have set here is the same one that you're using. It's this is iCloud, um, the same one that you're using for iCloud on your iOS devices that have your HomeKit stuff already up and running. Once those two are in sync, you've done the software upgrade, it should be just a couple minutes, maybe longer, depending on how busy Apple's uh, servers are, um, to get everything synced up and all your HomeKit uh, devices and config moved over or copied over to the Apple TV. And that essentially is the entire process. So with that being said, why don't we give it a shot? Something, oh, something appropriate. Let's try TV mode. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. It shouldn't be that dark. Thanks for ruining my demo, Siri. Well, since I am sitting here in the dark, I guess that's the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Hey, congratulations are in order. You made it all the way through the video to the bonus content. So let me show you what was actually supposed to happen. TV mode. So speaking of TV watching mode, here's a lighting design tip for your new home kit scenes. You can see that the, uh, the most of the space is now darkened, but there is some light still being shown or thrown onto the walls and the artwork and down onto the coffee table. This is absolutely done on purpose so that if you decide to Netflix and dinner, you can at least see what you're having for dinner. That is the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Smarter Home Life right here on YouTube. And uh, I'll see you next time.